before we let you go, obviously we know um, AJ trains out of here too. You've come back in your own career from defeats that at the time were devastating but came back to achieve at a very higher level. Any sort of advice to him that you've either given him privately or that you would give him regarding coming back from his first defeat? Yeah, I think tactically, uh, you know, I spoke, even spoke to Rob about it. Um, you know, Rob, was, get, Rob was giving him instructions and he just didn't carry him out quite. He got, I think he got mixed up in the emotion of the contest. And if you look at it, he's, he's trying to hook it uh, and he's coming in at short and mid-range against a, a kid who's probably a little bit underrated. And, you know, that was his game. You're trying to, you're trying to fight a fighter at his game. I think basically if he, if he, gets, back, if he gets back to basic tactics of boxing at range, in and out with the feet, and just keeping that gap between him and Ruiz. I think he, he, he could win quite comfortably, to be quite honest. I just think it's a case of getting the tactics right, carrying out the game plan, boxing at range, don't get involved with the guy, stay in the centre of the ring and keep the punches long and straight. I think if you can keep to those tactics, I think he wins quite comfortable. Does it have a sort of knock-on effect to the amateur squad here when AJ's here performing at the top of his game? I think it has an effect that he's here full stop. You know, he's such a, a, a likeable fella. He'll always come and speak to all the boxers um, about their training, gives little, 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 little bit tips and that. He's, he's one of the family, really. He comes here. It's like he hasn't left, which is, which is really good. They look up to him um, and he likes coming here, I think. So I think he has a, a really positive effect on the squad. He's an inspiration, if anything. And I think if he can win the next fight against Ruiz, he'll be an even bigger inspiration. Lovely fella. And he's always welcome here. And generous too. We heard earlier that he'd bought an ice bath for the facility that, that everyone's using now. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't come here for nothing. He pays, I think, you know, money to come here, obviously. He pays his, his, his money and he, he provides the equipment as well, which is the ice bath that we needed and he's put it in for us. So, yeah, he's like I say, he's a pleasure to be around and um, it's good seeing him in the gym and, and everyone feeds off that. And do you think you'll be going out to Saudi Arabia for the rematch? Do you fancy a bit of Saudi? <laughs> well, I was out there for Callum Smith and George Groves. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, it's a country that is, is crying out for big sporting events and it doesn't get bigger than that, does it? Hosting the heavyweight championship of the world. So I'd like to get out there if I could. It'd be, it would be good. If I, if I don't know, I'll, I'll watch it at home. Brilliant. Well, Richie, it's always a pleasure talking to you. We thank you for your time. Cheers.